In this paper, we propose a new framework to simulate dynamic character deformation in real time using a multilayer lattice model. The input of our system is a skeletal motion and a character mesh. Our system first fossilized mesh into multiple anatomical tissue layers, including the bone, muscle, fat, and skin. In each frame, primary deformation, which is also known as skinning, is performed on the fossils belonging to the bone layer with the skeletal motion. Secondary deformation that creates involuntary body movement is performed on the rest of the fossils. Different simulation parameters are applied to layers for creating different deformation behaviors. Our system generates realistic and robust dynamic deformation in real time. Here, we saw a bunny character performing a high dynamic dance. We implement an efficient user interface for the animator to define muscle to fat ratio of different body parts. For example, the tummy has a higher proportion of fats to create juggling effects. The arms have more muscles to be more rigid. Thin body parts such as the ears consist of mainly skin fossils. Here, we visualize different fossil layers of the bunny character. The bone layer is generated with a set of fossil that is within a predefined distance with the character bone structure and is used for primary deformation. The muscle layer has a high stiffness to ensure rigidity of body parts. The fat layer has a low stiffness and will juggle passively during movement. The skin layer is defined as the utmost watertight layer of the character. It has a high stiffness to provide surface tension and maintain the structure of the mesh surface. In this experiment, we saw a smooth character performing a jumping motion. Notice softer head and nose that consist of mainly fat, and more rigid arms and feet that consist of mainly muscle. We further saw the skipping movement of a boat character, in which the body is surrounded by fat. The limbs are relatively rigid due to higher muscle proportion. We can easily address the trade-off between simulation quality and computational costs using different vessel resolutions. Here, we compare the quality difference when a lower resolution is used. Since we adopt lattice shape matching for dynamic simulation, our system is unconditionally stable. In this demo, we allow the user to interact with simulation by applying external forces using mouse stress. Even in the presence of external forces, the deformation is plausible and realistic. Our simulation is lightweight and robust, making it suitable for real-time applications. In this experiment, we control a character using movement captured from the Microsoft Kinet. Even with the noise and inaccurate Kinet input, our system produces stable stimulation. Here, we compare our system with a baseline system from DLNet et al., in which only primary deformation is performed. As is bad, without secondary deformation, the character movement is unrealistic. We then compare with the work from Chang et al. Due to the lack of multilayer framework, all also share the same stiffness. In this case, they are set as muscle. Note that the tummy of the character cannot catch up with the movement because of the lack of the scratch constraint. If we increase stiffness of muscles such as the fossil can follow body movement, the whole system becomes unstable as the gains of the system are too large. Tummy movement becomes unrealistic. Here, we test our system performs if we only use one layer for secondary deformation. We find that it's difficult to obtain a stiffness value that can produce high-quality stimulation for all the dancing movements. 
This is because without layer information of the body structure, simulation engine cannot approximate real-life dynamics accurately. Here, we test our system performs if skin layer is not used. With our skin layer to provide surface tension, surface mesh details such as the facial elements cannot be maintained well. Also, thin body parts such as the ears do not have enough rigidity 